What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Paper Mario. In the last part we we saved all this we saved the Koopa Village from the fuzzies and got um got basically uh what am I trying to say? We basically got um Cooper to join our party. This part I wanna try something. Oh welcome young fella. I'm the elder of Koopa Village. Folks call me Koopa Coops. Hey, much of you do me a favor? Yes. Well, we're hoping very kind of you. I guess you're going to be interested in about for all. Well, then, young fella, I don't want to ask for favors, but perhaps, could you have, could you borrow the book Koopa Legend from Colorado? I'm certain if you were asked Colorado's life, she'd lend it. It isn't a trouble. Please go there as soon as possible. You promise, young fella? So, thankfully, uh, Colorado only lives two houses away from Koopa Coot. So, we're going to talk Colorado's life. Oh, little Cooper is going to go on Mario's adventure. How cute. Take care. Oh, you do? Do you need something? You're doing an error for the elder, are you? Hmm, right. Koopa legend. Yes, my husband owns that one. Of course you can borrow it. Don't let that old coot work you too hard, okay, Mario? He's been known to do that. He's been, he's a bit, he's also a bit short-tempered. Well, anyway, wait here for just a moment. I'll go poke around my husband's bookshelf. Found it. You're talking about this book, right? It's all yours. It was behind the bookshelf. We got Koopa Legends. It's strange. That book has all these pictures of shells and it exercises firmer shells in 30 days. Anyway, so if we bring this back to Koopa Coot, there's going to be, I think, three Koopa Coot quests per chapter. It's better to do these individually throughout each chapter than to just do it all at the end, which is what I used to do when I was a kid. Great gulp and Goombas, you're a lifesaver, Mario. This is just what I needed, hee hee hee. Show my graduate, I'll give you this. Oh, I don't have to be so light. You take this. We have one coin. Oh, what perfect, oh, what luck. You came from the young man. Could you see what you do with another favor? We're gonna do all three of these. How very kind of you. I guess the young days are so bad for all of you. We're usually not favor, but thankfully we have a sleepy sh well, I picked one up. My stars, you're a very variable hero, Mario. Um, finally, some peace and quiet. Sweet dreams, here I come. Hee hee. Take this small thank you. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fellow. Take this. We got one coin. But of course, take this too. Did you know that there's a playroom in Toe Town? If I remember right, it used to be around the station. If I strictly, it's strictly for members only. So your interest is so well hidden. But I bet you can find it though. Here's a silver card. I'll let you play inside. What? It'll play. I'll let you play once you inside the playroom. <laughs> Back in my head, I used to go there and make a lot of money, but I, used to, but, I used to, but I got tired of the hoopla, so the silver credit is yours. Good luck, Mario. Make some money. He he he. Get the silver credit. Oh, it's Mario, is it? Nice play that we're having. I can't think of any favors I need at the moment, but I need one later, though. Yeah, so, um, all we can really do in Koopa Village for now is, uh, I got the favors out of the way. And no Chuck Wismo, unfortunately. We're talking to the bob bomb so finally, we've got those fuzzies so peaceful here, but what good is peace for us when our friends are still in jail on the side of the fortress? You must listen. Two brothers in the fortress worked us too hard. It, w it was a long road, but I'm still glad I ran away. The rest is easier if I knew those two brothers had been punished. Anyway, so... I'm, I'm just gonna go to the Toad House so I can heal my FPs. So, um... Gonna get that out of the way. I'm just gonna heal my FP. So um, and I guess the, I guess we can start heading towards Cooper Brothers Fortress. However, there's one little there's one little piece of backtracking I want to do. There's the only one little piece of backtracking I want to do. It's um, one piece of backtracking. I, I'm sounding pretty redundant right there, but um, if we go, if we use Cooper, we previously could not get that star piece, but uh, that's great, we have it for now. So yeah, we can now pretty much, uh, we now can pretty much, uh, oh, and there, also so we go here, there's a honey syrup. So, uh, maybe pick that one up. I'm gonna get no one, and we fight pretty much so I can show Cooper's abilities. Because I didn't really show it in the last part, so, um... Yeah, so, um, I guess we're going to use a, uh, standard jump. Now, uh, 
Cooper has um, Shell Toss, Throw Shell and Enemy, or Throw Shell all enemies on the ground. We're gonna just throw Power Shell because I wanna take out that Spike Goomba. But it uses 3 FP though, beware of that. I used to not be a fan of using Cooper, but like, um, the past couple of playthroughs, especially the practice runs, I've grown to like using Cooper at various points because. If you think about it, some of the later characters will eventually be able to tackle enemies, but Cooper's the first party member to essentially get all tackled member get to tackle all party members. He can do it right off the bat, so um fine. And not get into an enemy bite, so um don't want to reel out Mario, you're surely the Cooper brothers. So this is why Merlin said in the last part we need help from Cooper. Because if you try going here earlier, you will not be able to hit that switch. And here's a new enemy. These are the uh, paratroopers. They're the paratroopers. They're like the Koopa Troopas, except they're they're stronger. So um, they're up in the air. So you need you can only jump on them to get them down. I don't want to worry too much about using FP. I think there's an upcoming healing block, so we should be good. So we should be. I probably should have attacked the other one. But yeah, we're gonna have to do nothing. I'm pretty much only going to show battles when there's like new enemies or like there's new party member attacks. Those those are going to be the uh, times I think I'll start showing battles on screen, otherwise I'll just cut them out. Anyway, so if we actually go over here, if we go here, there's a hidden fire flower. Kind of except for the one we use in the fuzzies anyway, so um... Hit this, um... Star piece. If we, if we hit that tree, we get a star piece, is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, so... I guess we're now at Kuburu's Fortress. Whoa, Mario, what the? Oh, we're in a world, we're in a world of hurt. Mario's here already. Gotta tell the Red Koopa! I'm not entirely sure if we're gonna get through all of Koopa Brothers Fortress in this one part. We're probably gonna, we're gonna get through a, we'll probably get through a lot of it. And these are our new enemies. These are the, uh, Bob-Oms. Um, if you attack them, like, uh, I'll kind of show off what happens when you attack them. They have three HP, so if you take if you take out a power jump, it'll kill them. However, they'll just blow up on you, and uh, that will instant kill them. Get the fortress key. So um, we can kind of. Wow, let's see the great Mario get any farther now. Eek, Mario! Uh, you uh, don't try any- you're still never gonna find your way through this fortress. Uh, looks like there might be some fighting here. How exciting to see ya. There's green- there's the green Koopa Brothers. The interesting thing is, normally you need, uh, the party member to get this badge, but you're gonna do right, that right here. We cannot get that key yet, so we have to, we're gonna have to go rightward. Also, unfortunately, we're stuck by that locked door, so we're gonna have to, uh... I guess I can show off what the POW block does. I only have one of them, though, so, um... We're gonna use a POW block, and, uh... You might think, why am I gonna get my face blown up six three times? Well, we're just gonna use Power Shell and then it'll instant kill the Bob Bombs. And we're almost to a level up, come to think of it. This will basically, if we hit that switch, the staircase is gonna come down. Anyway, so I guess we can go down these stairs. However, if we um, 
we were, if we were to go down here, there's still some prison, there's still some prison blah bombs and we can access the jail. I have to find some way to access the jail, if you know what I mean. Yeah, we're a little stuck now, but we'll get out of this later. Also stuck here. Anyway, so, um, I think I'm just gonna power jump them and just take them out with, um, Shell Toss. And I'm, I, have a, I have a couple of FP healing items that I think I'll use in a bit. Like, I think I'm gonna use... I'll use my Goom Nut. One of these enemies, though, I don't intend to win fight. And wow, that's a first hit by a first strike. You wanna do, you wanna know how I'm gonna handle these two power creepers? We're gonna show the fight the fright jar. Wow, I don't usually get a fail on these. Alright, time to fight with these the nor the only normal way. But one jump it'll, they'll go straight to the ground. They won't do any damage, but like But we'll still get two star points out of this. Just a couple more battles we'll get a level up out of this. One more battle. We just get, we just get hit by a first strike. We're just gonna power jump. All right, so power jump. Power jump is also a quicker animation, so that's also kind of why I'm using power jump. We are eight star points away from level up. That is solid. And that's gonna get the doors to go back down. It's awesome, we get to we get to advance a bit a little bit. Now if you actually uh jump these fires a bit, it's like like if you basically play hot rope jump with this. If enough jumps, they'll turn into coins. See if we can do it with all of them. See if we can turn all these into coins. The more you jump though, the more you jump it though, the faster it gets, so it's basically a hot rope jump. Okay, alright, here we go. 89 coins we got, and uh, that's pretty much all the coins we can get. Anyways, so... Guess we can get through that, uh, I guess we can get through this door. Oh, this, okay, this is perfect, I think. Whoa, looks like Mario's here. Anyway, so we're gonna go up, up. So, interestingly enough, they basically put up a trap, because if we go there, if we try to go left, Ooh, I just barely missed a level up, but one more battle will get us a level up, thank god. So, um, if we try going left, there's gonna be another, uh, there's gonna be another hole blocking us. We have to hit that block. Fuck! 
ha 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 ha! Loser serves you right, you fell for it! Okay, more paper animations. Oh, what was that? Where did that fall from? Oh, I wonder where you just fell, but aren't you Mario? I never in a million years thought I'd meet such a famous guy in a place like this. Who, me? My name is Bombat, in case you hadn't noticed. I'm the bob I'm pleased to meet you. Kill, thankfully. What's that? Why am I locked up here? Because I'm a menace. At least to the, these guys, these uncouth Cooper brothers. I was just one of many ball bombs working here, but those Cooper brothers, once Bowser took over, they started working us to the ground. Couldn't take any more, so I exploded next to them. Yeah, that was a mistake. The Cooper brothers didn't like it, so they locked me in here. I just want to see that animation. And then they locked up the rest of the ball bombs because they thought they might rise up. No, oh, ball bomb rebellion. What do you think about that? Oh, sorry, it's a long story right now. Hey, Mario, we want to get out of here. He can help spring us from this place. Or what? Pretty please. If you help us, I promise to return the favor. Oh, how nice. We'll be good friends from now on. And I can feel it. We'll make a super team, Mario. Bombet has joined our party. Press down, press C down to make Bombet walk for a short time, then explode. She can destroy cracked walls or rocks and activate switches. While in battle, she can attack an enemy on the ground with her body slam ability or damage an enemy on the ground using her bomb attack. Now let's let's think of a way to get out of here. Oh gee, I almost forgot. I have, I haven't even told you about what I can do, silly me. My specialty exploding. Check this out. See if there are any cracks on a wall, I can probably break it. Let me try this one. Puff, puff, take cover. See that? You see why I bring in the party, Mario? Oh, an escape. Well, I guess I never thought about doing that before. I was so mad I just blew up over and over again in one place. Okay, that was a little silly. Well, anyway, we can get out right now, right? So can everyone else. Thank you, Mario. From, from now on, I'll tell you a lot of help just whenever I can. You just ask and I'll be there for you. Now enough chit chat. I have a, I have a little score to sell with these Koopa brothers. What's all this noise? In case you bob bombs forgot, exploding is prohibited inside the fortress except in the case of emergencies. What in the- Mario, what are you doing here? Nothing good, I bet. Everybody, get him! So, we're gonna power jump these bob bombs. I can kind of show off Bombat's attacks. She can body slam. That'll only do one damage to the Koopa, then it won't knock them over. So, Bombat is only good for- Bombat can actually not attack enemies in the air, so... Unless for much later in the game, so... Because of this, and the amount of FP required to use Bomb, she's not really one of my favorite party members to use in this game. I, I, a lot of people really like using her, she can do a lot of damage, but the also, the also, the other cost is the amount of FP she uses for Bomb. And we're gonna get a level up out of this. Now, we're gonna, we're gonna level up BP. Because I, we need some more badge points. I think I'm going to cut it off also for this part of Paper Mario. So next time on Paper Mario, we're going to finish the Cooper Brothers Fortress. See you guys then.